What is up, y'all? It is that time again. Fall trout season here in Delaware. The leaves have fallen. They're over here sticking to my car. We got a soggy day out here, but hopefully, man, we're gonna be able to catch some fish. So from my knowledge, they have not stocked this little part of the creek just yet. They might actually be doing that right now. But uh, yeah, back at home, we kind of have the situation where our fridge is completely empty. My girlfriend and I, as you guys know, if you've been watching the videos, we just came back from a five day vacation and we really, like our fridge has nothing in it. So instead of going to the grocery store, who the heck wants to go to the grocery store? We're coming here to the creek. First day of fall trout fishing. This is a freaking season opener, man. So the goal for today, I wanna bring two fish home, one for me, one for Kelsey, but also I just, like I kinda just wanna have fun, man. I wanna catch some fish. Usually in the fall is when they stock the palominos or the golden trout here in Delaware. I would love to get on one of those, but yeah, this is probably one of the most like unprepared trout season like i'm not i'm not prepared at all i've been doing a lot of stuff this is the reel we're going to be using i don't know if you guys can tell or not but there's like literally like we cannot break off there's like no freaking line on this reel i didn't have any time to stock up on lures, so we got to use what we have i think this is going to be fun man she's definitely a little drizzly a little soggy look dude fall is here man i am geared up got my backpack got my net does this make me Look professional. Oh my God, it's starting to rain. Oh dude, is that the truck? Literally perfect timing. If you guys can see right there, that is the trout truck pulling out. I honestly get out of tie that any better, literally right when I get here. Ooh. All right, y'all, first spot of the day, we're gonna hit my trusty waterfall spot. Pretty much every trout season, you guys see me come over here. This is like one of my favorite spots to fish of all time. Oh boy, okay. Ooh. All right, there's definitely some other people over here. Oh, there's a lot of goldens in there, huh? Oh boy. Now fishing for these fish after they just stock is always like kind of interesting. You never really know how they're gonna react. They could either be super lethargic, they could be super confused. Oh man, there's a lot of golden rainbow trout in here. That's gonna be my goal this year for like fall trout stocking. I just wanna catch one Golden or Palomino, whatever you want to call them. Dude, they look so freaking cool. Oh my god. So I guess I should say what I'm doing. I am uh, using a little black marabou jig. You guys have seen me use this before. Holy crap, man. There's a lot of fish in here. Yeah, that's a nice one. Ooh, what was that on power rate? Yeah. I feel like this is a good color too. Black. It's overcast out here. It's a little rainy. Come on, man. Oh, I got a leaf. Whew. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish on the marabou jig. <laughs> First trout of the season. Come here, boy. Oh, that is a beautiful rainbow trout. Oh my god, right in the top of the mouth. All right. Come um, here, boy. Oh my, jeez. Holy crap. Oh my God, dude. That is a freaking beautiful fish. Guys, look at this freaking fish right there. Oh my God, he's super feisty. Right in the top of the mouth. And there he goes. First fish of the day. Beautiful release. The freaking flop them back in the water. All right, marabou jig might be, might be on fire right now. Oh dang, I should've got a picture of that guy. It is like really rainy too. Holy. Come on, man. I want one of them goldens. Oh, there's, oh my gosh. Dude, I got one. Oh my God. Is that a golden? Holy freaking crap. No, what is that? Wait, what the heck? That is pulling me. Dude, there's no way that's a rainbow. Is that a rainbow? Oh, dude, I snag it? I freaking snag, <laughs> I snagged it on its back. What the heck? Okay. Oh, jeez, no, yep. Pro fisherman right here. Whew. Holy crap. All right. Second fish of the day. Freaking. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Chit, 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 chit. Snag the rainbow on its back. Wow. The fish are like really, really pretty. They stocked here. 
Let me see if I give you guys. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Super cold fish, too. Beautiful rainbow trout. Let's get him back in the water. Whew. I thought I had gold in there, dude. Holy crap. Literally, when I caught that last fish, I saw the golden. He, like, freaked out. Dude, I thought I caught him. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this is so much fun, man. Freaking trout fishing, dude. By the way, um, I am going to keep two of these trout. Hopefully, I catch enough. If I just caught two, I could have brought those home. I think I'm going to be able to catch more. Let me hear. Ooh. Oh, you got the Palomino. Oh, my God. Yo, that is so sick. Holy crap. Dude. Oh, don't lose it. Don't lose it. I want him to catch this. Yo. <laughs> that is so sick. Oh, my God. That's a big one too. Holy crap, dude. The guy next to me just caught a Palomino. What a beginning to this day, man. Holy crap. I think the next two fish I catch, I'm probably gonna keep them. If I catch any more, that is. I'm gonna keep one for me, one for Kelsey, cook them up. Hopefully a delicious little dinner there. Come on, Marabou Jig, don't let me down now. That is so awesome, man. That's interesting too, he caught that on power bait. I feel like, I don't know, I guess I did catch my golden rainbow trouts on power bay as well i feel like they're smarter than that though but i don't know i mean they're freshly stocked oh come on man just one gold okay there's a little eddy all the way over there oh there's a fish right there did any fish fall into this little eddy right here i honestly haven't got bit here for a little while i think these fish are like, it's, it's interesting, like, you never know how they're going to respond right when they get out of the truck. But these fish really wanted to feed. Like, if I was here right when they stocked, I mean, that probably would have been, like, the ideal time. But yeah, you never know how they're going to behave. Sometimes they're super lethargic and they just sit there and they don't, like, want to eat at all. And sometimes, like today, oh my gosh, they're just going bonkers. Oh no. No, I only have one of these marabou jigs. Oh, I got it. Please, please, please. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Oh. I'm fish at. So just for context, I know we weren't here when they stocked. Where all those people are fishing, they stock them all over there. They just dump in barrels of fish. I have a video on my channel. Um, I'm trying to find it and I'll leave it in a link up there. But yeah, it's been a little bit since like they've actually stocked. So I think some of the fish have swam over in this direction. Everybody else is still over there. Nobody's catching any fish. So I think they started to fill out a little bit more of this space here let me give a few more casts here i think i'm gonna drive to a different part of the creek it's like two minutes away i fished really all around this little waterfall thing i mean there's fish in here but they just i mean they just don't want to eat right now these guys are really throwing power bait i'm throwing moving bait just the fish aren't really hungry man any luck Slipper. I can't believe how many palominos are in here. Oh, they put a lot of them Yeah, that, that, that's crazy. Yeah, if you get somebody, you just figure out how to catch them. <laughs> There's enough, but that's the only reason I hooked one here. There were so many of them in we here. We caught a couple here, a couple rainbows on this one. Yeah. Wow, I can't believe how many palominos, though. That's a fish. There you go. He had it for a little bit there. Okay. Get up here. And he goes. <laughs> so remember how I was like not that prepared for trout season? Well, I was also not prepared for the heavy rainfall that we got. I thought it was supposed to rain, but like later on in the day, I thought it was just supposed to be like a slight little drizzle. Ah, uh, yeah, no, it was like torrential downpour. I was actually out, like I had my rain gear stuff. So I was out there, I got it from my car for probably a couple hours in like that heavy rain. But the one thing I really didn't prepare for, my one waterproof GoPro, the bat, I, I just didn't have the batteries, man. So you guys saw a couple clips, I lost that one fish. But I ended up actually catching one fish to take home. And here she is right there. It's a pretty simple clean, slice, take guts, chop, chop. Not really like anything too crazy quantity wise from the first day of fall trout season. But I mean, we actually caught some pretty, like the fish that I caught, man, were super pretty. I wish I showed you better. I looked at the footage, like 
Yeah, yeah. Professional cameraman, just take my word for it. I don't know how we snagged that one in the back too. That was pretty interesting. It is now time. We are about to cook this guy up. This is gonna be freaking good, man. This is, feels good. I feel like every time I do videos like this, trout fishing in my hometown creek, it's always nostalgic, man. This is kind of like how I started my channel up. We're gonna be cooking the trout. This is probably my favorite way to do it. So we're gonna take some olive oil, just drizzle it around here so that it can not stick to our little aluminum foil. We're gonna take some Slappy Mama and just some Cajun seasoning. Give it a little sprinkle right there. Hit the other side with it one time. And definitely when you're doing this, you gotta make sure Get the seasoning in the inside. Bam, hit it. Oh gosh, I did not think. I mean, at least it smells good. Let's kind of. It's always something. This shot's gonna be a little garlicky, but that is all good. I love me some garlic. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of these onions. Man, it's hard to do this with one hand. We're gonna put them inside the trout. And also, get a little fancy with it. We got some of these, this is a bell pepper. Just kinda put it around. We're gonna be closing this up, so all that fragrance, all that taste should just be bundled up anyway, get to a nice little juice. Now I would love some lemon, I'm a big lemon guy, but unfortunately, we don't have any of that. But this is pretty much what we're working with right here, man. Beautiful rainbow trout. Oh my God. I just like, I can tell you right now, this is gonna be freaking bomb. Now all we're really gonna do, Make sure, pull it up nice and tight. All right, we wanna keep all that flavor, all that juice inside of there. And we got a little, little trout in a blanket all ready to go. Bang, this is probably like the easiest way. Like I like to cook in the pan too, but it, it just splatters all the oil and stuff. I feel like this is just, like if you don't wanna clean a lot of stuff, this is probably the way to go. So we went ahead, preheated this sucker 400 degrees, wow, that is steamy. In she goes. All right, boom. Now that is not it, man, we are not done. We are chefing it up here today, man. We're about to make some first state fish and chips. Oh yeah, five star right here. This is like the $1 grocery store special. For those of you wondering, my girlfriend Kelsey is at work right now. She's at the ER doing ER nurse thing. Yeah, we're definitely gonna save some fish for her. I don't know if she's gonna be in this video or not. But, um, yeah, I'm excited for this, man. Oh, all right, she's beeping at me. Let's take a look. Oh gosh, that should be done. Ooh, it is about to happen, man, the big reveal. This is like the best part when you open it up and like all the steam comes out, all that smell, the flavoring. Oh my gosh. So if you guys can see that the steam Oh my gosh. Oh my God. I, I have not had trout in a while, especially like super, super fresh trout. Look at that, just comes right off the bone. The bone's still in there. All right, our gourmet homemade French fries. That is beautiful. Just for presentation purposes, I got some of this trout. As you can see, I cleaned it up a little bit. There's still a lot of meat left but I, I feel like it just looks a little better like that on the plate. And yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be leaving some of this here for Kelsey when she gets home from work. Whew, this is my favorite part, man. So I haven't had trout really since the spring. So I'm gonna try this out here. Smells really good. I think the onions and the peppers, especially the onions, really, really help with the scent, especially all that garlic too. Fresh trout opening day. I have some good stuff right there. Trout has like a slight sweetness to it. I feel like you could really taste the onion in there too. Let me give some of these a shot here. Gourmet homemade french fries. If you guys want the recipe, it'll be linked down below. So there you have it, man. Fish and chips, first state style. I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting on golden rainbow trout. That's gonna be my goal here for the fall. And also, I just wanna catch some more trout. I actually have a video that I made for stock trout fishing if you guys kinda want some tips and stuff. I'll show you like every way I would fish for stock trout. And we also caught a giant, like my personal best trout. We got a reward for our certificate in that video. So if you guys wanna see that, I'll link it up here. I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot more trout fishing in the near future. Yeah, man, before I finish that, let me just close this video out here. Thank you guys so much for watching, man. If you did enjoy this video and you wanna see more videos like this, wanna see more catch and cooks, definitely go down there, hit that thumbs up 
button it really would mean a lot to me also if you are not already and if you do enjoy my videos please make sure to go down there and click that subscribe button and if you never want to miss an upload from me go down there and hit that notification bell that'll pretty much make sure that youtube lets you know when i put out a new video shout out to fishing is life if you guys want to win a random shout out at the end of the next video all you gotta do man leave a comment down below by the way if you have not seen the last video i it was like one of my favorite videos ever made but youtube was freaking like they demonetized it with the yellow symbol and then literally like you could see the views like I had a graph for it. It just went like that. So a lot of you guys didn't get to see that video, which is just freaking annoying. That was one of my favorite videos of all time. I had a lot of fun making it and I caught my freaking personal best bass. So if you guys have not seen that video, make sure to go back and click on that. That was insane, man. And it freaking, I gotta do real and the real is so cool. But yeah, man, that pretty much does it for this video here today. As always, thank you guys so much for all of the support. It truly does mean the freaking world to me. All I gotta say is let's keep this going, man. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.